هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا ورسول الله معلمنا هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I get the most controversial question out of all the questions that were sent up and I'm lucky because I get to run away so none of you can confront me afterwards um, but I have the question about uh, the sea burial of uh, Osama bin Laden and I know that that's the most controversial question obviously out of all of these papers but we're not going to shy away from them um, first and foremost I request everyone to approach the topic with maturity, and please do not misconstrue my words in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to answer the question, and I'm going to answer it very direct. And number one, we have to separate between whether or not we supported Osama bin Laden, and whether or not a sea burial is permissible. They are two totally different issues, okay? Number one, um, and I saw that unfortunately sometimes as Muslims we have a tendency to react with emotion uh, to certain things. And you cannot repel evil with evil. ahsan. You cannot repel evil with evil. Now, I understand that there are the 9-11 truthers and there are the people that speak about all the different things that happened in 9-11 and did he really give a confession or not and these types of things. But the fact of the matter is, and, and, and anyone who has read the history of this person before 9-11, he was someone that the scholars confronted, like Sheikh Abdul Muhsin Abbad, Ibn Uthaymeen, Sheikh Salman Al-Uda, and many others. And he did, without a doubt, have the views that are very similar to those of the Khawarij. And I make that statement very clear without any hesitation. It's not an apologetic answer. His history starts before 9-11. And Rasulullah informed us about the Khawarij, and this is why it's important for us not to go based upon emotions. That Rasulullah said, when you see the Khawarij, how would you feel about them? Tahkiruna salatakum ila salatihim. You would feel like your salah is nothing compared to theirs. They would cause you to have a, a, a sort of a mini crisis because you would see them. They read Quran as Ibn Abbas anhu described them, and like buzzing bees, their eyes became red from how often and frequently they were reading Quran. They appear to be a very pious people, but Rasulullah said, if I live to see them, then I will fight against them. And these are the only people that the Messenger ﷺ gave such a, a, a harsh description of. He called them Kilabu Ahlin Nar, the dogs of the people of hell. I'm not saying that, I'm not passing a judgment on an individual. I'm talking about a mentality now of the Khawarij. And essentially, the Khawarij pass kufr on many different Muslims. They pass a, a verdict of disbelief on many different Muslims. They show complete disregard to innocent life. And this is essentially the same track that Osama bin Laden was taking and the scholars were talking to him way before 9-11 about his views and his mentality in that regard. As for the individual, as for the individual, as Muslims we do not pass a judgment in Akhirah on an individual. I don't care how disgusting or despisable that in, despised that individual is, we cannot say to any human being or about any human being definitely that he is in hellfire. We can condemn the actions, we cannot condemn the person to hellfire because only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what took place in the last moments of his life. So Muslims also should be very, very, very careful because this is the only faith in which passing a judgment of kufr upon another person justifies in essence passing a judgment of kufr on yourself, of disbelief on yourself. We do not pass a judgment on the individual situation in the akhirah that is extremely dangerous. However, without a doubt, we condemn his actions, we condemn his beliefs, we, you know, we, we don't believe in killing innocent people, we don't hold the views that he held in that regard. I would recommend everyone and I would advise everyone to read a very good article, the most balanced article that I read in regards to this was the one by Sheikh Yasir Qadi uh, that he posted on MuslimMatters.org uh, uh, a few days after the death of Osama bin Laden. The most balanced statement that came out out of all of the organizations was the one from the Vatican, from the Catholic Church. Ironically so. We don't rejoice at the death of a human being. This is not the believer's situation. We're not going to go beat our chests like animals and and want to see pictures of heads being split apart and body parts, we don't celebrate death. 
We condemn the actions. We condemn the individual. We hope that, that in the future there is more peace in the world and we hope that people that, use, you know, people that propagate these views would essentially their views would be eliminated. Their mentalities would be eliminated in that regard. So that was the most balanced statement in that regard. As for the sea burial itself, because this caused a lot of questions in the community, especially is it permissible to bury someone at sea? Because essentially what was said is that this was done in accordance with Islamic law. And the answer, and I'm not going to beat around the bush, is no. Absolutely not. There is nothing within our books of Islamic law that allow a person that died on land to be buried at sea. If a person dies at sea, and that person's body would become decomposed before that person could be brought to land and buried at land, then there are circumstances that would permit such a thing. However, not in any circumstance do we have any clear cut, just open invitation to dump a body at sea, regardless of how we felt about that human being. With that being said also, balance now on the other side, because that is the complete apologetic side, which is to say that the Sharia ah permits this according to mercy and these types of things, a person could easily be buried in an unmarked grave. A person could easily be buried in a place where he would not be found. This is not something that's impossible. So that issue, yes, the apologetic uh, answer is too far. It went to an extreme. On the other hand, as Muslims, I don't think we should dwell so much on this issue that we forget people that are fighting for their justice, people that are fighting for their freedoms, innocent people that are being mur murdered daily in the Muslim world. We should be concerned about what's happening with them. So I don't think we should dwell too much um, on the issue in that regard. Um, and, I, and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from going to extremes in either way. Allahumma ameen.